Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhat Chanjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about the construction of LR parsing table or LR parser. LR parsing table, LR parsing table or LR parser. Okay. So, here, generally, generally there are four types. Generally, there are four techniques are available. Generally, there are four techniques available to construct to construct the LR parsing table or LR parser, or we can say LR parser. Then there are four methods are available. Okay, the first method is called as LR0. The first method is called as LR0. The second method is called as SLR1. The third method is called as CLR1. The fourth method is called as LALR1. So generally, these are the four methods are available to construct the LR parsing table or LR parser. Okay, one by one, we'll read about this parser. So uh, in the means of coming classes, we'll read one by one. Okay, so see, what is the size of L? What is the size of LR parsing table? What is the size of LR parsing table? The size of LR parsing table is see, the size of LR parsing table is the number of states, the number of states into the number of states into NT. Her NT means NT, NT means non-terminal. How many non-terminals are present in a CFG grammar? In a CFG grammar. NT means non, non-terminal. Right. What is the meaning of T? T means here terminal. T means terminal. Okay. So the size of LR parsing table is the number of states in a DFA. Okay. And into number of terminals into sorry number of uh, sorry into number of non-terminals plus number of terminals plus one. This one, why we add this one? We generally add this one for dollar symbol, for dollar symbol, okay? When we'll construct the LR parsing table, we'll try to understand what is the meaning of states, what is the meaning of non-terminal, what is the meaning of terminal, and what is the meaning of one, okay? Don't worry about this. So first we'll discuss out of this, see, first we'll discuss the first one, the first one, first one, first we'll discuss the first LR parsing table. This is called LR0 parsing table. This is the LR0 parsing table. Okay, see the LR0 parsing table. Construction of LR0, construction of LR0 parsing table or LR0 parser. Construction of LR0 parsing table or LR0 parser. What is the meaning of LR0? LR0 means what is the meaning? L means left to right scanning. We have already discussed about the LR means what in the previous classes. L means left to right scanning. R means rightmost derivation in reverse order. L means we can write uh, L means left to right scanning, left to right scanning, left to right scan, right scan. The R means rightmost derivation in reverse order, right most derivation. Derivation in a reverse order. Okay. What is the meaning of zero? What is the meaning of zero in LR zero parser? Zero means no look ahead. No look ahead. No look ahead. So we have already discussed about what is the meaning of look ahead symbol. What is the meaning of look ahead symbol in the previous classes? Okay. So zero means there is no look ahead. There is no look ahead. One means it is one look ahead with symbol one. Okay. So zero means there is no look ahead. 
means in lr0 parser there is no look ahead concept okay how means uh, how uh, there is no look ahead in lr0 parser we'll later we'll discuss about when we'll construct the lr0 parsing table okay so how to construct the how to construct the lr0 parsing table generally there are three steps there are some steps to construct the there are some steps to construct the lr0 parsing table so what are the steps see here the first step the first step is called as construct construct the augmented grammar construct the augmented grammar this is the first step okay the second step the second step is called as compute the canonical collection of sets of lr0 items compute the canonical collection of sets of lr0 items using closure function or go to function using closure function or go to function what are the canonical canonical sets of lr0 items this is the i i means this is collection of sets like i0 i1 up to in this is the collection of sets okay what is the third step the third step is construct the parsing table parsing table means here we will construct the lr0 parsing table we will construct the lr0 parsing table generally there are three steps to construct the lr0 parsing table first construct the augmented grammar construct the augmented grammar the third step is compute the lr0 items compute the lr0 items using closure function or go to function using closure function or go to function the third step is called as construct the parsing table construct the parsing table so see here, what is the meaning of augmented grammar the first step in the first step is what construct the augmented grammar what is the meaning of augmented grammar see here, adding the production is like s prime to s this is called augmented grammar adding the production like s prime to s to the given grammar is called as augmented grammar it's called as augmented grammar so what is the meaning of s prime to s suppose for example for example a grammar is like s to s to a a to a then a to a a grammar is like this grammar is like this so a grammar a context free grammar is like this so uh, if grammar is uh, given is like this so now we'll add we'll add but here s is the starting symbol here s is the starting symbol here s is the starting symbol since s is the starting symbol we'll add s prime to s we'll add s prime to s we'll add s prime to s this grammar is called as initially the grammar was see initially the grammar was s to a and a to small a but after adding the augmented grammar the grammar looks like see s prime to s then s to a then a to a then a to a the grammar looks like this one. okay so we will use this grammar for constructing the lr0 parsing table okay initially the grammar is given like this but after adding the augmented grammar the grammar looks like this one okay so in this way we will add the augmented grammar or augmented grammar production in every context free grammar in uh, constructing uh, means to construct the lr0 parsing table next why we will add this augmented grammar why we will add this augmented grammar the advantage of say the advantage of augmented grammar the advantage of augmented grammar production is that it is useful to get accept action it is useful to get accept action in the parsing table mainly it is useful to accept action in the parsing table how actually means how will you the accept action okay don't worry will means uh, will and will try to understand uh, with the help of one means suitable example okay later we'll discuss about the example so the next point what is the meaning of lr0 item what is the meaning of lr0 item 
LR zero item is nothing but it is a context free grammar prediction. LR zero item is nothing but it is a context free grammar prediction having a dot. See here, having a dot. Dot means like this having a dot symbol in the RHS production, having a dot symbol in the RHS production. For example, suppose the production is like this A2 dot X Y means looks like having a dot in the RHS production. See, it is a context free or CFG or context free grammar or CFG production having a dot dot in the RHS production. This is called as the RHS part. Okay in the having dot in the RHS part. Okay, so LR zero item, see here, LR zero item, LR zero item means suppose for example, A to XY dot, A to XY dot Z. What is the meaning of this? A to XY dot Z means what? Means that parser has already, parser has already completed the reading of XY means parser has already completed the scanning of X and Y. Okay. And ready for Z and ready for Z. Means in this case, the parser has already completed or already scanned X and Y and ready for or wait for this Z and wait for this Z. Okay. So this is called as the LR0 item. Okay. Next point. The parser performs, this is very important points also. The parser performs reduced action. The parser performs reduced action corresponding to LR0 items, corresponding to LR0 items whose dot, whose dot is at rightmost end, whose dot is at rightmost end. For example, say, for example, A to A dot means in this production means in this production the parser completed all symbols parser completed all symbols in the rhs part rhs part so this action is called as reduce action this action is called as reduce action so here yeah, just see the parser performs reduce action corresponding to lr0 item whose dot symbol is at right most end, just see whose dot symbol is at right most end of RHS part. So this is called as reduced action. Okay. Next point. The tax of closure function. What is the meaning of closure function? Means uh, compute. Okay, we will generally use uh, means uh, the compute uh, computation of LR zero items with the help of closure function on go to function. So what is the meaning of closure function? The tax of closure function, the tax of closure function is that the close, the tax of closure function is that whenever a dot, whenever a dot symbol is followed, whenever dot symbol is followed by a non-terminal present, is followed by a non-terminal present, closure function, closure function asks, closure function asks that the non-terminal production closure function asks that non-terminal production and puts a dot on leftmost side and puts a dot on leftmost side. So try to understand what is the meaning of closure function with the help of example. Suppose a production is like this. Suppose a production is like this. Uh, suppose a production is like this S2 a b a to a b to b suppose the production is like this suppose for example the closure function the what is the mean just try to understand what is the meaning of closure function suppose s generally the lr zero parser scans scan means lr zero parser will scan this non-terminal here, this non-terminal, a. The LR zero person will scan this non-terminal, a. So find the, a, find the closure of a, find the closure of a. See, closure of a means 
just add the just add the productions the productions of a means here a production means a to dot a a to dot a. means all productions of a here only one production of a is present so that is called as the closure that is called as the closure of a that is called as closure of a suppose one more example see suppose one more example see as to a dot b as to a dot p so here here means the l r zero parser the l r zero parser will scan here b non terminal here b non terminal so find the closure of b so find the closure of b in the cfg product cfg grammar just see the closure of b is what the closure of b is b to b b to dot b okay here in this case in this case in this case in this case particularly the lr0 parser will scan what the lr0 parser will scan the non terminal a so that's why we will find the closure of a we will find the closure of we will search or we will add the closure of a but in this case but in this case here the lr0 parser will scan the non terminal b non terminal b so that's why we have add, that's why we have added the closure of b from the cfg grammar the closure of b is b to b okay so this is called as the closure function this is called as the closure function okay next okay the next point the tax of the tax of go to function so what is the meaning of go to function the tax of go to function is that it moves one dot position it moves one dot position towards right towards right suppose suppose a to on production like x dot y z means here l r 0 we l r 0 will scan we symbol y here l r 0 will scan will scan or will read y in this case so after reading the y symbol after reading the y symbol suppose after reading the after reading the y symbol sorry after reading the y symbol so x y dot z okay so the tax of go to function is that it moves one dot position see here one dot here it will at a time read only one symbol at a time read only one symbol means one dot position one dot position towards right towards always right means here right so it read it it read, means it will in this case in this step it will scan y but here in this the second step it already reads the y symbol it already reads the y symbol okay so this is the theory of lr0 parser or construction of lr0 parser and in the next class we will discuss in the next not uh, next upcoming 3 to 4 classes we will discuss many examples of lr0 parser or construction of lr0 parsing table okay thanks for watching